is Mina. Welcome back to my channel, or if this is the very first video you're seeing me, then welcome to my channel. Please hit the subscribe button down below if you haven't already. I post Monday through Saturday. And today in this video, I'm going to do a review on the Boye Pom Pom Maker. So I actually just got this today for a late birthday present from my mom, and I was really excited to test this out because I love making pom poms, but the only problem is my pom poms would end up so bad that they would be, they would kind of be like a little too loose. Lose and they'd end up like just a mess and stuff like that. They were like ter I made like such terrible pom poms. I tried using cardstock, using a piece of cardboard. It was terrible. I tried using a pom pom. I'm not pom pom maker. Excuse me. My hands. I ended up. I tried using my hands and they ended up terrible. And I tried using my fingers and it ended up terrible. So. I was so excited when my mom bought me this because I've actually been meaning to buy myself a pom-pom maker to make pom-poms because I actually found a really cool scarf pattern on YouTube by Peony and Time that I want to do do it and I'll do and it requires to make pom-poms so I was so excited when my mom bought me this because like I can't wait to try this out when I make a pom-pom scarf. Yay! Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I can't wait to try this try this out when I make a pom-pom scarf. And um, a lot of you guys, obviously, if you saw my pom-pom tutorial, which I'll link in the description box down below, I bet a lot of you guys thought it was a terrible pom-pom tutorial because I really, because I, literally I do suck at making pom-poms. Poms like I used to use them with my hand, use them, use my hands to make a pom-pom. It still, it ended up just really, really bad. Mm. It ended up really, 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 really bad. Bad, and they would the yarn would just keep falling out because I wouldn't tie the center part tight enough. And I just don't, I realize I need to keep practicing making pom-poms. I just need to practice my pom-pom skills, yeah. Yeah, and then when my mom got me the, I, when my mom got me this for my birthday um, as a late present, I actually just got it today and I tested it out. It worked really well. I made a perfect pom pom. I actually don't have the pom pom to sh the actual pom. I tested it out. I don't remember which one I used. I think I used this one. I think it's the medium size one. And it let me tell you, it worked really, really well. Well, it was so amazing. I was like super excited when my mom got me a pom pom maker because. Funny story, I've actually been meaning to buy myself a pom-pom maker, but I wanted to wait till I got paid and stuff like that, because I don't know how much pom-pom makers are, but I've seen the little pom-pom makers that you open up, and then you can snap them closed um, to make sure your it doesn't come undone and stuff like that. that. So I've seen those kind of pom-pom makers. I've seen the pom-pom makers that open, and I wasn't sure how much they were, so I'd be sa so I was sa been meaning to actually buy myself a pom-pom maker, so I could I actually make pom poms, and let me do poms. But I have to admit, these work the same way as a regular pom pom maker, like the one you snap closed and stuff like that. It works really well. I literally like wrapped the yarn around it, and and it was just a lot easier than doing it around my hands because like I I kind of could tell easier if this was like almost full that it was enough for the pom pom to come out. If I did it around my hand, it was just really hard to tell if it was like full enough and stuff like that. So I felt like it, my pom poms would never be full enough to <sighs> I know, for my project, which I kind of hated. It was I just found it really annoying how it wouldn't be full enough to do enough. Enough, but this when I used it, I could easily tell if it was full enough to wrap around my um full enough for a pom pom. It was made it much easier than just using my hands. Because I think it's just because it has this like U shape, it just makes it much easier to use. So I've only used like the medium one. I haven't used the other ones yet, but I can tell I can get a lot of use out of this. So I'm super duper excited to make some more pom poms. Poms and again and mom, if you're watching this video, thank you so much for getting this for me. I love this so much and I can't wait to use it some more. So I love you so much, mom. Thank you. So that was just for my mom because like she got me this for my birthday and I'm super pre thankful that I got this because I just really can't wait to make more pom-poms with this thing because it just makes such perfect pom-poms way better than the ones I've been making for years. I know pom-poms are really hard to make and stuff like that. I know a lot of you guys probably have a hard time with pom-poms as well. 
Well, if you haven't had a hard time with pom-poms, let me know down in the comments below. But if you had, also let me know down in the comments below if you've had a hard time making pom-poms without a pom-pom maker. These actually really come in handy. So I would recommend this to anybody who has a terrible, who is terrible at making pom-poms like me. Me, because this makes such perfect pom-poms. It is just amazing. You have no idea. Yeah, like you can make like any size you want. You can make a small one. I'll just take this out so it make it easier to get out. You can make a medium one. I mean, uh, another smaller one. A medium small one. Kind of a medium one. Uh, in between big and medium one. A regular medium one. A medium big. And then last but not least, you can make a large. And this also has, I think these are mini pom-pom makers. I'm not too sure. I don't know. I haven't used these yet, so I'm going to look at the instructions to see what these are because I think these are mini pom-pom makers. I just can't tell. And then you also have a tassel maker right here. It's really cool. Cool. So this will become in handy when you make tassels and stuff. I love making, making tassels. They're like my favorite things to do. Do I just... Ew, I am really good at making tassels. It's just pom-poms I really suck at. How do you get these back on? Oh, my bad. Wrong size. One thing I like is how this kind of comes apart and stuff like that. And you don't have to close them together in order to make the pom-pom and stuff. So I think that's really nice. Nice. So, yeah. I would basically recommend this to anybody who likes to make pom-poms and is really bad at it. Bad at it. Um, it but um, and needs an easier way to make a pom-pom because these are the easiest way to make a perfect pom-pom. Um, it's really help helpful. Well, and it comes in handy, so I suggest you guys really try it out. Okay, so that was my review on the Boye Pom Pom Maker. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in another video soon. Again, please like and subscribe if you haven't already. I post Monday through Saturday, and I'll see you in another video soon. Bye!